Hello and welcome to Reading Unit 4, Week 2, Day 5 with your host, Mr. Pedersen. I hope you all enjoyed the reading, The Talented Clementine. It's a great story about a talent show, and today we're going to be continuing some activities that go along with this. So starting off, we know that that story was a realistic fiction story, and we know that realistic fiction is a made-up story, but it has components that are very similar to things that could happen in real life. And also, the characters have traits that are similar to you and I and other people in real life. Also, we're keeping in mind our central question, how can you use what you know to help others? So we're using skills and things that we know to help someone out or teach someone something. Moving on, some other skills that we're focusing on this week are asking and answering questions, the narrator's point of view, and the prefixes im, un, and non. Let's move on to our vocabulary for this week. We have achievement, apologized, attention, audience, confidence, embarrassed, realized, and talents. So I hope you were picking out those words and seeing how they were used in the story, the t talented Clementine. Here's our story. So you already know how to sign in to Connect Ed and reread the selection. So you're going to reread the story, The Talented Clementine. We know it starts on page 300, and you're going to log in using your Connect Ed sign in. And reading this story, you are going to use pages 310 and 311 to answer these videos related, these questions related to point of view. So remember the point of view is what the characters or a character thinks about or the stories, events, or another character. And you're going to consider what Clementine feels about being an assistant to the principal. So you have to go back in the text to answer these questions. You're going to use details from pages 310 or 311 to provide three details and then provide the point of view. What is Clementine's point of view about being an assistant for the talent show? So how does she feel? How is she viewing her situation that's going on? Then on the last slide, these are just some reminders from our daily directions. Make sure you refer to your daily directions to know what's going on, and you're going to complete this activity, the slide right before this one. You're going to complete the Google Forms for vocabulary related to the talented Clementine. Then we have a prefix boom card activity. And there's also some stuff to do for math. We have a 13-4 review video that I created. And you're going to complete the 13-4 day two activity. So make sure you complete all this stuff. If you have any questions, leave a comment on Google Classroom. And we'll be here to support you. Good luck. You're going to do great. Follow the instructions and read all the questions carefully. Make sure you restate if it is necessary. Thank you.